Communicate 2 Coursebook by Kate Pickering, CD1. Unit 10. Prepare to describe a photo. Exercise 4. OK, so where shall we start? Um, with the traditional phone. OK, so, well, it's certainly useful. And one important advantage is that your parents pay for the calls. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But our phone is in the middle of the hall and everyone can hear my conversations. I don't like that. That's true. Not much privacy. OK, so what about the mobile phone? Yes, that's great. I use it a lot. I mean, not just as a phone, but for all kinds of other things. Yeah, photos, music, as a diary. There are lots of advantages. Mm, any problems? Well, for me, the problem is precisely that you end up with so much on your phone. Mine got stolen last year, and it was terrible. I felt like I'd lost everything. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's a complete nightmare. So, what do you think about the computer? Well, obviously that's great. Yeah. You can do so much, you know, storing and working on photos, keeping all your music... Mm, games, watching films, social networking... Oh, and I guess we should also mention work. <laughs> <laughs> so, disadvantages? I don't know. I guess the only thing would be size. I mean, even a laptop is not that portable. Yeah, unless you've got a tablet. Mm, but I was thinking more about one like in the picture. You know, that's quite heavy, really. That's true. Also, it depends how good the internet connection is. If you've got Wi-Fi and so on... OK, what's next? Uh, the iPod. What do you think about that? Well, I think this is brilliant. I use it all the time. What do you use it for? <laughs> Everything. Photos, games, music and chatting to my friends. It's a great portable device. Mm, I guess so. Uh, what's left? Um, let's see. The camera. Well, I think that depends. On what? I think it depends on how serious you are about photography. I mean, cameras are great and all that, but nowadays you can take photos with your phone or other devices. Oh, what I was thinking is that I don't really think a camera is a communication device. I mean, not in the same way as the others. Right. OK, so now we have to decide which is the most useful device and why. Mm. Well, for me, there's no question. The iPod. You can do loads of things with it, and it's also really small and handy. Yes, I think you're right. And, of course, there's another big advantage. Oh, what's that? No nasty bill at the end of the month. It's free. <laughs> That's true. Oh, that was easy. Unit 10. Prepare to make a speech. Exercises 5 and 6. Effective public speaking is a vital skill for today's world leaders, and it's common now for key speeches to be carefully written by a team of experts. One of the most important things a great public speaker does is to connect with the audience. It's said that former U.S. President Bill Clinton could make everyone feel as if they were the only person in the room. While during the Second World War, Winston Churchill inspired and united the people of the United Kingdom by recognizing and addressing their fears and dreams. Body language is also important. It needs to appear natural, but used to good effect, it can make the speaker appear calm, cool, and authoritative, and at other times help to move and impassion the audience. In terms of style, good speakers often use pairs of words, rich and poor, old and young, or even groups of three words. This helps the listeners follow the speech. In Washington in 1963, Human rights activist Martin Luther King Jr. gave what many believe to be the greatest speech of the 20th century. 
Starting from notes, he soon abandoned his prepared speech in order to connect better with the audience. He included biblical references and quotations from the American Declaration of Independence, which were familiar to the people listening. His language was simple, but he used repetition, alliteration, and pairs to make his message clear. Phrases like black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics. But in my opinion, two other things make this speech so powerful. One was King's repeated use of the phrase, I have a dream. Not only did this make his message memorable, it also filled the audience with hope that the time for change was finally arriving. The other factor was Martin Luther King's passion and his evident emotion, as shown by both his voice and his body. His speech was a landmark in the American human rights movement and was also a brilliant example of public speaking technique. As such, it has been analyzed and emulated by public speakers all around the world. Unit 10. Prepare to do a project. Exercise 2. Young Enterprise is a charitable organization designed to help young people develop their business skills. Every year, volunteers from the world of business support over 300,000 children and teenagers in this school-based project. Students in over 5,000 schools colleges and universities participate in the scheme. They receive support and advice from the volunteer experts. In the 15 to 19 year old age group, students work in teams to create their own business. This can be done during school hours as part of the curriculum or as an after school activity. The teams have to develop all aspects of their company, starting with the creation of the initial product idea and the production of a business plan. They then run the company over a period of a year, learning all about the ups and downs of business life, including things like sponsorship, financial management and production, and, of course, the secrets of successful communication and advertising. Their aim is to make a profit by the end of the year. And there is also a competition at local, regional and national level to decide the most successful business. Participation in the scheme means students finish school with some solid business experience which is an advantage for admission to many university courses and is very positively regarded by employers. Statistically, those who take part in the scheme earn more by the age of 30 than those who did not.